Well, this is a starry vlog and, and, it, and it's an update. Um, this is the hospital. I'm back again and I won't show you the particulars, but um, this is this is urine. It's urine. And there's a poop container. I know, I, I, hate, I hate that. I won't do any close-ups. I don't want to gag anybody. But, you know, I've been having that diarrhea for like three weeks now, four weeks. And uh, I'm not sure if many of you know, but my uh, last year analysis came back. It was a protein um, electrophoresis test. And there were spikes and everything. It was like double, which actually um, t was like a positive for what's called multiple myeloma. It's a cancer. But I don't have cancer because that's not in the Lord's plan. I know this for a fact. So today's a good day. My uh, my friend is with me and I actually was able to drive today. And you can see, look, this is like a miracle. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking like, like really upright today. But we're gonna go in and get some labs and we're gonna follow up with the year end. So I thought, I, so I thought I'd take you along. Right there, immunoglobin free light chains, monoclonal gamnopathy, holy moly. That's a mouthful. It took a long time, but I got my blood drawn and they had to figure out all the special tests and we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna hit the road. Oh, that's a lot of. A lot of work just going to these hospitals and doing all this lab. Okay, all done with the doctor's appointment. And my girlfriend, she's back at the apartment and just bought a whole bunch of organic produce and we're gonna be whipping up something to eat. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna walk down the road here because I can, I can walk right now. <laughs> which is a blessing and I'm gonna go visit the horsies and just uh, uh, do a little a little bit more catch up with you friends and um, oh what's going on hi oh what beautiful you know the other day when I was here the other day I had come by and it was so awesome because not only were the the horsies here but they had, uh, there was a whole flock of turkeys and I think they're way back there right now. And the deer were here. <laughs> look at, oh, 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 you're so, I love, I love these horses. And look at this little one over here. Look at you. Oh, 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 oh. you are so beautiful. <laughs> He's like, what is that? That's a Mario. Look at Mario's a little, Mario's a little like, ooh, I don't know about this. Um, but first I want to apologize to, uh, my Facebook friends because I have so many. I have the Starry Hilder uh, Facebook page just for me, uh, Simply Starry, and then I have my homesteading uh, Facebook page too. And just with everything that has been going on, it has been, you know, a whirlwind, just a whirlwind. And uh, and now with the 24-hour year in test, we're waiting for the results back. And, you know, uh, and, I, and I have to really clarify. I've said this before and I'll say it again. No matter what the Lord puts in front of us, whatever circumstances unravel, we have to really trust in God. And, you know, I know sometimes it's like really easy for me to just say that, but I know that I am a person who just doesn't say that. I walk in it. And you have to really walk in it. Uh, you know, the sad thing about our, our, our walk of faith is that when we do have bad news or we are faced with we're, we're faced with, with troubles that we didn't really ask for. It doesn't really seem fair. And, uh, and it feels like the rug gets pulled from underneath us. There are people where their faith gets so shaken that they look up to God and they start doubting him and they start questioning him and they also um, actually blame him unfortunately and it's so sad because I keep trying to remind people who are in that position and, and you know this happens I, I, I get it we, we have sometimes the pain is just so heart-wrenching I get it I get it 
but I still have to say, if you, if you really believe in what was done on the cross for us, if you really get what Jesus did on the cross for us, I mean, you really get the suffering that he went through. I mean, you, you really got to wrap your mind around, he was human. He was a man. He felt sorrow. He felt anguish. He, he felt pain. He, you know, when Lazarus died, when Lazarus was dead and he came to the tomb, Jesus wept. He wept. He wailed because he felt the pain of that. And this is the thing with him feeling the pain of that. He knew he could rise him from the dead. But he still felt the loss. He felt Mary's sorrow. Never forget that Jesus understands. Jesus was nailed to the cross. Jesus at one time did not want to go to the cross. He said, Father, take this cup from me. He did not, he did not want to go, but he knew because he loved, he loved his father and he wanted to be obedient. He went because he understood. He understood that that was that was what he was called for. I don't want this to be like a big sermon, and I know sometimes I, I, I do get carried away, but I want people to understand, because I know there's a lot of you, you contact me all the time, and so many of us are being faced with traumatizing things, traumatizing things. We feel like we're drowning, we feel like we're in a hole, we feel like we're, we're underwater and we can't breathe. Remember where our Savior was and what he did for us. Remember what he did for us. He gets it. He gets it. Okay, we say, say goodbye to the horses. <laughs> All right. Um, that's, that's what I wanted people to really understand. And when I was in the parking lot and talking about the 24-hour urine test, and I said, I don't have cancer. And, and you know, it is important to always speak, speak the power of the Lord. There's power in his word. There's power in, in who he is. Uh, I always say, it's, even as a nurse, I can walk into a room and I can tell you who's not gonna make it and who is gonna make it. And, and most of the time, it's either because they are believers and if they're not believers, it's because they have such positive attitudes. They just are firmly convicted and convinced. And that's just, you know, that goes down to um, our, our, our human nature. There are people that are just so negative and uh, they're pessimists and they're negative and they're just gloom and doom. And that affects your health. That affects your healing. Uh, but really what affects your healing is the Lord Jesus Christ who has the power to heal us, who has the power through the cross to do anything. To do anything. Come on, he created this earth, right? We've got the power of Christ. So walk in that. But I wanted to say that because I didn't want people to... Uh, see that little portion of my video this morning about the 24-hour urine test and okay i just wanted people to understand that uh, we will be waiting patiently for results and in the meantime i'm going to kind of fill in with some other videos you know know that some of the videos may be a little bit older where i'm really feeling good in fact today again is a stellar day uh, i had I had a lot of pain in the morning and I had a lot of pain later on in the afternoon. It's just, it's coming in waves. Someone sent me on my Facebook a, uh, I gotta, I gotta post it. Um, God's, our, 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 our journey. And it was a line with, with a person on a bike going straight up, right? Just smooth sailing going straight up. And then it said God's plan. And it was up and down and up and down. That, that, that is God's plan. <laughs> it's, it's not smooth sailing and it's not always, not always up to the, the, the mountaintop. There's going to be a lot of valleys in the way, um, and that's okay, because that's what makes us grow, and it makes us stronger, and it makes our walk even that much more fruitful. All right, stay positive, my friends. Get in the Word, get God, and keep coming back. We'll have more. We'll have more soon. All right, and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching and sharing. <laughs>